Now this is the second hugest type of check that we have other than the double entry accounting system itself in order to guard against making errors on our transactions. So, and that's because there's so many transactions that go through the cash account. So many of the transactions that we're gonna make, of course, will either be a deposit to the cash account or uh, coming out of the cash account. Therefore, if we can verify cash in some other way, such as this, then that's gonna be a huge check for us to catch any errors that we may make. So the bank reconciliation, therefore, is really needed to be done for any type of organizations, whether you're large, whether you're small, even a personal uh, accounts, the reconciliation process is really something that should be done in any, any type of business and probably is applicable for personal uh, finances as well. It'll help to catch any errors that are happening. So if we go back to uh, looking at our books now, here's our bank statement on this side. And our books, if we look at the trial balance, we've got our cash account over here. We can see that we are in balance because the debits equal the credits. We're showing revenue in this case of the 50,000 down here. Revenue less expenses, there are no expenses. And we also see that we're in balance by the green accounts being assets, equaling the liabilities, which are the orange accounts and the owner's equity being the capital and all of the income statements. So we are in balance in this way. We of course are concentrating on the cash account. So we're gonna take a look at the T account or the general ledger in terms of cash. So if we go over here, we can take a look at the GL. We have the GL by date, and it's starting at January 20th and going down to the end of the month, the end of February.